Hey guys, and welcome back to another Doctor Who action figure review. Today I'm taking a look at the brand new B&M exclusive release, The Third Doctor and TARDIS from the Monster of Peladon, which are appearing in stores now. So let's take a look. The set is packaged in the now familiar white, silver and blue window box, displaying the toys inside. The side and back of the box gives us a look at the toys, as well as a synopsis for The Monster of Peladon. Then the inside packaging reveals a Peladon themed backdrop from the story, with the tunnels complete with sconces, a dead miner getting zapped by the power of Agador, and some surprising cameos from the Doctor's other foes. It's a who's who of the Pertwee era. As ever, these are a lot of fun and make for a lovely display backdrop. Out of the box and the set looks great. The third Doctor is a new repaint not seen in the line before, and the TARDIS is a reworking of the Time Monster version, updated to include the newer, more accurate decals used on last year's TARDIS based on Robot. So let's start with the new third Doctor. Sculpt-wise, this is a figure we've seen many times over the years, the bow tie, trousers and shoes combo, and as ever, it is an excellent sculpt of John Pertwee. Paint apps on the hair now has this slightly yellowish wash to it, which I really like as it looks like his hair is starting to get whiter as it was during that time. Then onto the costume, the jacket is now this lovely deep emerald green with a dark grey on the lapels, which makes it seem like the lapels have a green trim around them. The shirt is a pale green with a darker green trim on the frills at the front and on the cuffs and on the buttons. There is a little bit of bleed on the trim, but that's just a minor gripe. Then to finish it off, he has a black bow tie. I really love the look of this figure. It's an absolutely beautiful costume in the show and it works great on the toy. Finally, the trousers are this sort of greyish brown colour with black shoes. The only other thing worth noting is that this time round, the Doctor's rings haven't been painted on. So all in all, it's a really nice variant and one I'm glad to add to the collection. Then we have the new TARDIS, which I think is great. As ever, I shan't go into masses of detail about what's wrong and what's not with regards to comparisons to the original prop, because that's not really fair to do. But what we have here is the early 70s box moulded in that bright blue, as seen at the end of season 9 going into season 10. So what we actually have here is an earlier box, which is more like a second attempt at the Time Monster TARDIS. Now, I really like the fact that they've done that, because I know lots of people missed out on that one the first time around. It was super hard to get, and I never saw one out in the wild. I'm a really big fan of that bright blue of the actual TARDIS prop, and the colour here is a great match. They've toned down the brightness with this amazing dirty wash that's sort of grey and green, and it really gets into all of the nooks and crannies of the sculpt, really bringing out the lovely texture so you can see the lumps of Artex with the wood grain. It looks fantastic. The other changes are that they've pulled the elements that worked on the robot release from early 2019 and put them to use here just to improve on what's gone before. There's the inverted top signs, which again cover all sides rather than just the front and the back, which I guess is a cost saving measure in the manufacturing process. And then we have the improved door sign. Then as an extra bonus, it has the new and improved thinner base, which works really well and makes the proportions of the TARDIS feel a lot more accurate. The only other difference is the lamp housing, which is now blue rather than black. I'm not sure why they didn't keep it black, but not to worry, that's an easy fix with some paint if you so wish. As ever, there are no lights and sounds on this release, but it still retains the same spring-loaded door mechanism as the others. Then for Pertwee, he has all of the usual articulation at the head, shoulders, biceps, elbows, wrists, waist, hips, thighs, and knees. Overall, I really love this set. It's a great improvement on what's gone before with regards to the TARDIS, and I really love this new Third Doctor. It's a variant I was surprised we hadn't seen sooner, so I'm glad it's here now, and there's still plenty of Third Doctor outfits to do. With this new darker jacket from the Monster of Perdon, hopefully one day we can get some darker ice warriors with the orange eyes to build up the characters from that story. So thanks for watching guys, and stay tuned for an unboxing video of the new repaints of the Big Finish Doctor Dalek 2-packs. Thanks for watching.